Hi, everybody. My name is Kayla Banks, and this is me. Today, I'm going to be talking about me being undefinable. But really, it's not just about me. It's about everyone in this room. So I hope by the end of this talk, you'll at least be encouraged or have a different labels when you think about me. So this is what society perceives me as. Some common labels to the naked eye which you think about me. I'm black, I'm a girl, I live in inner city Los Angeles, and I'm 13. There's also a lot of negative labels that come with that, like I might be sassy or I might be uneducated. Well, maybe by the end of this talk, some of, your, some of the labels you'll think of me will be different. So you might be thinking, why is a 13-year-old girl sitting here talking to all of you? Well, actually, technically I started getting into tech a long time ago when I was six years old. I opened my own blog, Felice's Bratz blog, because, well, what else would a six-year-old like Bratz? And so, <laughs> and so I started a blog because my mom is a special ed teacher and she wrote a blog. So I just asked my mom if I can write one and she just wrote everything I said to her. And that opened in 2007 and I kept writing that until about 2011. When I really started getting into code was when I was in third grade and I was nine. I really wanted to make a website because we were researching about pets, so I just looked it up on Google how to make a website, and that's how I came across HTML on W3 schools. And so, also, since my dad is an IT consultant, I just asked him about it, and I got a book, and I just read it, and that's when I learned HTML when I was nine years old. So my first talk was at Scale, which, some, which for you guys who don't know about it, is Southern California Linux Expo in 2013. My dad persuaded me to give a talk because he's one of the organizers of it, and so I just spoke to a large crowd. So I only showed you just a little bit about me, but I just have one question for you guys. Have you at least redefined some of the labels that were assigned to me? So not only am I in the coding community, I'm also in the gaming community. I really had a big passion for Sims and Woo's World. And for you guys who don't know, Woo's World is an online virtual world for teens. So I started making Machinima. And again, for you guys who don't know, Machinima is like short films and movies you can make inside a game. So I started making that in OpenShot in Sony Vegas. And I also gave a talk about it at scale, Machinima with OpenShot, when I talked about it to kids. And it, it encouraged a lot of kids to do machinima with other games like Call of Duty or Halo and games like that. Also, I opened a Woo's World blog and it got 30k hits global. And I actually like looking at the where the sources are because there's a lot of people from around the world, like Latvia and Russia, who visit it every day. And I also made fan edits and fan videos in OpenShot in Sony Vegas. So when I really started learning code is when I was about 11 or 12. I was at scale and there was a Ruby workshop and my dad persuaded me to go and learn some Ruby. I really liked Ruby because, well, it was just so easy and easy to work with. So I also went to a Ruby and Rails workshop because it was only a couple of minutes away from my house and I really liked it. It was overnight and we worked with Ruby on Rails and I actually really like Ruby because, well, it's really good to integrate with other things like Rails. I also learned Python at scale because when I was giving my talk, the Machinima talk, the, um, No Starch Press gave me a book, Python for Kids, and I really liked it. Also, Pi Ladies helped me go to PyCon in 2014, which was in Canada, and I got to give a talk, a lightning talk, and I also got to go to Woo's World headquarters. So also, I really like Python because it's really easy to use, and I actually have a program idea, but um, I'm not going to say that because I don't want you guys to steal it. <laughs> 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 so
So I showed you guys a little bit more of myself. Have you redefined some of the labels a little bit more? Not only was I working with software, I worked with hardware. I broke my iPod when I was in fifth grade, and my dad said, well, why don't we just fix it ourselves? It would be a lot easier since the shops around us charge 100 maybe for the iPod. So I just fixed it at my house, and my auntie also had a Samsung Galaxy, but it was really hard to take off just the screen, so I actually had to go deep in the phone and take everything out. Also built a computer from scratch since my dad makes computers in his back office. And so one day, me and my brother just went there back with him, and then we built some computers from scratch. Also have a lot of clients, which I fix computers from. And my dad and I also do some work for this company. And it's based in a small inner city school, it's like um, fashion and tech together. And we do the social media for Eric Garcetti, which is the LA mayor. So not only am I a full frontal geek, I'm also pretty athletic and flexible. I was a cheerleader in 2011, and I won an award for an essay I wrote on what success is when I was nine years old. Also, I beat three-fourths of my grade in the school pacer because I didn't give up. I actually really like running, and I think I'll do track next year. So now I've talked a little bit about myself. I don't want to reveal what some of my close tech friends think of me to you guys. I'm a coder. I'm an international speaker. I'm a computer repair woman, a video editor, a blogger, an image editor, an IT consultant in training, a self-taught chef, a hacker and a modder, a former cheerleader, and an athlete. So if, you, if I, at least I think so, those are a lot of labels that really don't go together. So how would you define someone like me and someone like you too? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people in here have a lot of qualities or labels that really don't go together. You don't. And that's why I like to call myself undefinable. While my dad and I were talking about this talk, we came up with this quote, and I think it really should relate to everybody because, and it's really encouraging. It says, what you see on the outside looking at me and what I see on the outside looking at you is not what you really are. Join me in being an undefinable you because really what I think about it is we're all put into a skin that we have no control, on, the control of. So really your job and your mission is to show everybody what's inside of you. And also, <laughs> there's, this, there's this really funny video with Shia LaBeouf, <laughs> and he's, it's really encouraging, so I thought I'd just put it in here. Just do it! <laughs> <laughs> And this is my talk. And also, um, I didn't, I forgot to put it in a contact slide. So if you want to see me, I can give you my business card also. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Kayla, thank you. Thank what you a too. wonderful presentation. Thank you. Everyone, one more round of applause for Kayla Bang. Kayla Bang.